What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today is going to be super entertaining. We are working on the C10, which is outside in the shop. And uh, it's going to be interesting because there's so much rust in this thing. I could dang near shove my foot straight through the floorboard. But basically what we got to do is cut out the entire floorboard, uh, cut out the firewall, and then we're going to start the initial beginning process of the roll cage. So let's get over to the truck and uh, let's show you guys how bad this thing is. So you guys remember when we picked up the chassis at Scott's Hot Rods? It was uh, it was pretty exciting to see. Let's go check it. Cool. Well, where's that bad boy at? Well, it's over here. Here it is. What we didn't really realize, well, we realized after my dad jumped the truck, uh, we crushed all the body mounts. So this body mount uh, shoved back into the factory cab about a quarter inch. And everything basically, long story short, is just jacked up in this truck. So what we have to do is we have uh, bracing we welded on, and we're actually going to capture the, uh, the door jams and, and weld everything to this brace front and rear, because what we got to come through and do is cut out all this stuff. So, so the firewall, which is behind the motor, and everything on the floorboard literally has to come out because it's so rusted. You can see, just look at, I mean, this thing, that thing. Like my grandpa may have drove this. Like I guarantee it, because I wasn't even born. My dad probably drove this when this truck was built. Because <laughs> he's old. <laughs> So the biggest thing really is bracing the cab to the frame and we wanted to make them one so everything's centered. That way when we cut out all the stuff, nothing moves. And uh, my dad's pulling off all the jack stands right now. So I think we should be good to just start hacking away. I think we're going to start probably with the floorboard. Nice. Let it move. Yeah, let's just go. I just say we just sawzall, get that blade and just go right. I do that side and I just and I'd go right across that uh, I just go right across the, the brim of that body line. And then the what noise does the sawzall make again? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I would just go ram, 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 and then just I think we just come right across here and sawzall. Just this. go ram ram? Yeah. I'm gonna punch it. <laughs> <laughs> what is right and ram? I've never heard a ram. Corey, no. have you heard a ram for cut? It's kind of weird. Ready? There she is, Pops. Holy cow. You can see it actually looks a lot better. You can see the, the chassis through the floorboard. Uh, we just cut out the entire floorboard. So it's laying over there on the ground and uh, it was all rusted. I mean, th there's holes through it. The problem is, is, is these trucks, they, they go through a lot. I mean, you've got to think of 1965 on what this thing went through. I think we're going to have to just cut out the entire firewall too. Um, my dad and I kind of feel like 
that's going to be the easiest thing to do and and the hard part is at this point this is like a complete restart didn't plan on this at all but again these trucks are old and uh, we got to make this thing right so let's just cut out the firewall right now and uh i guess restart oh. deep now <laughs> you can see we had to completely cut this out so there's no firewall left no floorboard the problem is it's rusted like crazy i don't know how high it'll go but see how this is all eaten out here yeah it's all bonded someone we'll just come in and cut it depending on how high it goes at least we get rid of this and get this body line back in it looks like this truck like lived in the snow so we'll just, we'll just make a new panel right there then. Dad's always saying, oh, let's just cut it real quick and replace it. Dad, it's, it's never that easy. We'll cut it and replace it, but it's not, he makes it sound like it's so easy. Let's cut this thing and re let's replace it, but I'll leave it to the time lapse because it's going to take a while. You show me how to dare to love. So tell me what you're thinking of. So we got it replaced, uh, we replaced this back section there. Um, it was all eaten out of rust. Uh, but yeah, there you go, Dad. It's cut and replaced very quick. Very not easy. <laughs> um, this is where it gets tricky. Uh, we got to completely rebuild this thing from nothing. Um, we got it off of the hoist, as you guys can see right now. And uh, we got the truck actually leveled out on jack stands, uh, fully level. That way we could start uh, attaching the cab to the chassis. So we're gonna go through that right now and uh, make this thing one. That way we could uh, just keep going. <sighs> Man, old trucks. So we basically ran stringers from the factory uh, frame all the way to the cab itself um, with one piece going all the way down the bottom of the door. Uh, this again was so flimsy and, and rusted out, we cut out what we had to, uh, but now there's, there's a two by four rail in there that's actually connected uh, to this part. So uh, this uh, completely is gonna strengthen up the cab. We did it to that side as well. Um, now this is basically one So until then guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this has been a fun episode with my pop and I uh, We have much more much more progress to do on this especially since we just cut that much out So you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget uh, comment what you guys liked about this and we'll see you guys next time